The title of the worst medieval king of England is one which could be wholly contested due to the fact there were a few terrible rulers who made a mess of their nations. For example, Richard II had the peasants revolt inside of his lands and he was then forced off the throne and deposed, but King John is one of the historian's favourites for the title of the worst king of England. He was a ruthless and violent man who came onto the throne under disputed circumstances and many believed he should not have been the king. His power was even limited in what was known as the Great Charter or Magna Carta. However, in 1216, inside of Newark Castle, he died from a rather savage bout of dysentery. But there were a number of medieval rumours that the king's demise was much more sinister and savage. But what is the true story behind the death of England's worst medieval king? King John was born around 1166 in Oxford, and he was the favourite son of King Henry II, but he was the youngest. It was not considered at the time that John would one day rule and become the king, and when his father died in 1189, it was his brother Richard who became the king, being crowned King Richard I. John was given a significant amount of wealth and land following the death of his father, but Richard I had other plans for John. He did not regard him as his heir to the throne, referring his nephew Arthur to inherit the throne. There were many across England who felt the same too. Richard I had found himself imprisoned in 1193 inside of Germany, and John tried to seize the English throne, but failed, and his brother then returned and John was banished from the nation. But the brothers did later reconcile, and John was made heir to Richard's throne when Arthur was captured. But in 1199, John became the king following Richard's death. In the months following, John continued to wage war with the French, and this was made worse by his second marriage to Isabella, the Countess of Anglum. This woman had already been engaged to a powerful French noble, and the marriage caused problems with the French royal family. John did not like the French, and he brutally put down an uprising, but what came next was a number of military defeats which resulted in John losing much of the land the English held in France. Some deemed him a questionable ruler because of this, and his reputation was negatively affected. But John then taxed the English harsher to pay for his wars against the French, and his government obtained money from people ruthlessly, and they would do whatever it took. But in England, the population hated paying money for the foreign war, and lots could not afford to do this. In England, the barons, who looked over large swathes of the country, did not like this either, and John would exploit them to take money and whatever he wanted, and they eventually rose up against the king, and the barons seized a number of castles. They then instigated a foreign invasion, actually siding with John's enemies, inviting the French king to invade England and depose John. And they would then have even seen the French king frowned as the king of England. Because of the domestic chaos, King John was ordered to negotiate with the damaging barons and what was signed was an agreement that limited the king's power, the Magna Carta. And this was signed on the 19th of June 1215 and it even held the monarchy responsible for their actions saying they were not above the law of the land and that they could be held accountable. But John later stated that he never signed this in the right frame of mind and he was backed up by the Pope on this and he campaigned across the north and the Scottish border and ransacked wherever he went. But Louis of France did inflate England and John fought against his barons but in the October of 1216 things then went very wrong. Whilst he was crossing the Lincolnshire Fens he lost half of his baggage train and this contained the crown jewels, and it said that these today have still not been found, and they may still exist in some capacity under the ground. He then rested at the Abbey of Swinehead in the Fens, and the monks of the Abbey were ordered to make space for the king and his followers, and to find food. But what happened inside of this Abbey is debated. 
There are some rumours that John may have even been poisoned by a monk or a rogue abbot who did not want to put up with the terrible king in his monastic house and that John's notoriety for barbarism did not sit well with him. But John ate most of the food that was offered and he drank also and it was also said that John may have been poisoned by a monk who extracted a certain venom from toads and that this was then given to the king. But following a stay at the abbey, the royal gathering then left and they went towards Newark Castle to then stay. Inside of Newark Castle, John died. In October of 1216, he died inside of a toilet in the gatehouse from what is considered dysentery, a very serious disease that causes terrible diarrhoea and then leads to death. John had been ill for some time and he rested inside of the castle for a while, but there were rumours at the time and from the region that he had been poisoned by even eating too many unripe peaches and that this made him sick to the point that he then died. Another claimed that he may have drank too much sweet ale and this could have come from the monks who were offended by the amount John and his followers ate. But one historian says... To say John died of overindulgence was a way of criticising him person personally. It implies impertinence, gluttony and imprudence. To say he was poisoned showed he was hated. Whatever the truth, those writing down history had nothing to say about John. Dysentery is caused by parasites in the gut and it's most commonly spread by consuming dirty water or food that's been contaminated with human waste. It was not necessarily a condition of the common people who lived in unsanitary conditions, as lots of food and vegetables had been grown in soil, which was then fertilised by human waste. It's possible, though, that the king did contract dysentery on his journey across England and throughout the campaigns, and this was probable that he contracted this by consuming contaminated food or water. This could attack anyone, and it did affect the kings, killing Edward I when he was on campaign in Scotland against Robert the Bruce in 1307. And it may have even resulted in the death of the Black Prince Edward. However, it would also lay waste to Henry V, the victor of the Battle of Agincourt, but John was a man who died from the same condition as these men. With this, it's probable that it's truthful that he died from dysentery, as during the medieval period, there were some rumours that emerged about the deaths of kings. For example, red-hot pokers being used to slaughter shamed monarchs. But despite King John's terrible reputation, it's likely that he died close by to a toilet inside of Newark Castle. And following his death, his remains were taken south and he was then interred inside of Worcester Cathedral. He was a man who slaughtered his own nephew and laid to waste so much of his kingdom out of anger and barbarism. Thank you for watching, and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.